Hey Master Gardeners, we finally have a nice warm day today. It's nice to be outside, I've been doing some weeding and I was taking note of this azalea which is in full bloom, her name's Karen. She's one of the gable hybrids, which is interesting because um, they were bred by, his name is uh, Joseph Gable, right up in Stewartstown, Pennsylvania, so close. I didn't even realize she was one of his cultivars. But anyway, so it's a really uh, very cold hardy cultivar. That's not why I bought it. I just was in love with the nice little hose shaped flowers, which makes it beautiful. But upon looking at it, I always, I was cleaning out some of the leaves that were jammed down inside of it. And I thought, you know, since this is so young and new, I'm gonna establish this a nice habit right from the beginning. So I'm gonna come in and do some pruning. Let me just touch on different types of pruners. We haven't covered this too much, but it's nice to have a bypass style and there's a right side to use and a wrong side to use. This would be the right side where I can get more of a flush cut. And they're called bypass because one blade, blade passes by the other one. Let me show you the other form that I never recommend unless you're cutting firewood. That's these old an anvil pruners which have a flat platform down in the bottom. And when you use them, they crush your stems. So I never use these for pruning purposes on my shrubs. They're just for firewood. So I've got two different ones here. Azalea's kind of hard to get down inside of. I'm gonna use a bigger one. I'm actually gonna take this whole branch here on the lower left side because it's out of balance right from the beginning. So I'm gonna come in here with my heavier duty pruners and I'm gonna click down in there. And I took a huge piece off, but it was so low to the ground and I, I don't like it when I throw mulch onto my soil and it traps some of the branches underneath. So I'm, go, I'm going ahead right now and taking that out. And then I'm just gonna go down in here and start pruning some of these branches that are going the, duplicating the same direction. So I'm gonna take that one out. I got a broken one over here. That's, these two are both doing the same thing. There's no reason to have two branches going the same direction. So I'm coming in, nipping that off. I'm gonna take a lot of these little baby things down inside of here, which I don't really want a lot of these little baby shoots coming in. Cause like I said, I was taking the tree, the tree leaves get caught down in them and I was trying to clean them out. So that's just the gist. Usually you do this process when your leaves are, when your flowers are finished, that's the proper time to do your pruning on your azaleas. So I'm gonna nip it, clean it up, take a couple more little pieces out of here. Anybody that's going the same direction as somebody else, I'm like, nope. There's another tall one. I'm gonna take this big one out of the center too. There's another taller one. I, I just, it's grafted on itself down inside. It was overlapping with another stem and it's overlapping and it's already, it's already grafted in. And I thought, well, so I got a nice branch going here, a nice one over here. So I didn't need that particular branch. Remember, you make sure you don't have a lot of mulch around the base. But there, I, I just kind of opened it up. I probably thin it a little more on the left side over here. And I'll probably never touch this shrub again. I'm gonna let it roll along and get established. I'm gonna take that one off to open it up and thin it and just balance it and keep my nice form. You really can't do much wrong because they're very forgiving. So take your pruners out and check out your azaleas.